Welcome to my channel. Hello kids. I'm your teacher Zen. Welcome to science class. Science 3, quarter 2, week 3, day 4. Our learning objective, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to describe characteristics of living things. They grow, respond to the surroundings, and reproduce. Today, we're going to study about describe characteristics of living things. Before we proceed our discussion, let's answer this question. You're going to describe how living things' size and body parts change as they grow and get older. Let's do this activity. Describe how the following reproduce. For number one, we have turtle. Laying eggs. For number two, lizard. It also lay eggs. For number three, we have sea tau. Planting seed. And for number four, we have katakataka. Planting plant parts. Very good, kids. What characteristics of living things do this picture show? We have a puppy and a dog, a kitten and a cat. A puppy and a dog have the same pictures. They have the same color. Same with the cat and the kitten. They also have the same color. What characteristics of living things does this picture show? This picture show a phototropism, bending of the plant toward the light. As we've discussed yesterday, the plants need sunlight. Can you give one animal or plant and explain how it reproduces, grows, and responds to the surroundings? How do you know that the kitten came from their parents' cuts and not from the dogs? Let's do this activity. Arrange the jumbled letters. For number one, we have this. It means to stay alive. What is your answer, kids? Survive. Very good, kids. Second word we have this word means all of them have died what is your answer kids extinct good job kids now for number three this is what happens when a living things gets bigger or taller what is your answer, kids? Good job! It is growth.
Can a living thing only grow, but not respond to its surroundings? Can a living thing reproduce, but not grow or respond? Can a living thing respond to its surroundings, but not grow? These are good questions for us to think about. Today, we will learn more about these characteristics through an activity. Let's find out if all living things really do all three. Grow, respond, and reproduce. Let me explain to you the activity number four. Does it grow, respond, and reproduce? We need here materials, scissors, paste, or glue, manila paper. Duration 25 minutes. Now for test number one, after learning about how living things grow, reproduce, and respond to the environment, let's try to describe each animal based on how they grow, how they reproduce, and how they respond to the environment. For number two, we have for growth and reproduction. Make a chart showing the, the life of a plant or animal in, in the correct order. Here is a sample for a sea turtle. Now, for growth, its body grew bigger, legs became longer, head became bigger. Respond. Act like a sea turtle when it saw a jellyfish as food. Number 3. Do the same for the next group of animals. Arrange the picture in the right order by placing them in the boxes above. Starting from the left, cut out the pictures and paste them in the boxes above. Then cut the chart and paste them in a manila paper provided by your teacher. This is letter A, the cat start of life. How do cats reproduce? Describe how they grow based on the chart you made. Role play, act like a cat when being called by its master. Coconut tree, that's letter B. How does a coconut tree make more trees? 
Describe the coconut tree as it grows. Role play, act like a coconut tree, responding to light coming from the right side. How do cats reproduce? By being born alive. Very good. Describe how they grow based on the chart you made. Its body becomes bigger, tail becomes longer, head and ears become larger. How does a coconut tree make more new trees? By planting the coconut fruit which contains the seed. Describe the coconut tree as it grows. Coconut leaves start to come out from the coconut. Then it becomes a small tree with no fruit yet. Then it becomes taller with coconut fruit. How do chickens reproduce? By laying eggs. Describe the chicken as it grows. Start with an egg. Egg cracks with a small chick coming out. Chick can walk around having small body, small legs, and short, break, short beak. Finally, it became an adult with large body, longer beak, bigger legs, and a bigger tail. Do a role play of the animal or plant when it responds to the environment. We have the first role play act like a cat with being called by its master. Role play uh, number two act like a coconut tree responding to light coming from the right side. And for number three we have act like a chicken after seeing a running dog nearby. Have you ever seen a baby giraffe? This is a baby giraffe. Giraffes eat the leaves of tall trees. What do you think will happen if a baby giraffe doesn't grow taller? Of course, it won't be able to reach the leaves and might go hungry. Why is it important for animals like giraffe or tiger to grow? So they can get food and survive. If the legs of a baby tiger never grow, can it catch its food? No, because it's, it can't run fast. Why do you think it needs to run fast? So it can hunt or escape danger. And now that you know that living things grow, respond to their surroundings, and reproduce, how should we take care of them? Feed your pet every day so it can grow. Make space for new baby animals if your pet gives birth. Water your plants so they can grow and let them grow where there is sunlight. Living things are important. They grow, they respond, and they make more of their kind. When we take care of them, we help them live and grow well.
Describe the physical changes in a frog as it reaches adult stage by placing a check on the right description that shows observable growth. This is the picture of a tadpole and a picture of a frog. Tail becomes longer. Legs appear and become longer and larger. Tail becomes shorter until it disappears. Body becomes smaller. Body becomes bigger. Legs became shorter. Legs disappear and tail appears. What is your answer, kids? Of course, legs appear and become longer and larger. Next, kids. Tail becomes shorter until it disappears. Another. Body becomes bigger. Good job, kids! Complete each statement. All living things need to... And in order to, what is your answer, kids? Very good, girl. We have respond and survive. Very good, kids. So now, we know that living things grow, respond, and reproduce. These help them to survive and make sure life continues on Earth. Now, let's proceed to the evaluations. Instruction. Read each question carefully and choose the best answer. 1. When a puppy gets bigger and become a dog, it is being, it is doing which of the following? A. It is reproducing. B. It is growing. C. It is responding. D. It is sleeping. 2. A plant in a window grows its stem toward the sunlight. This is an example of a living thing. A. Growing. B. Responding to its surroundings. C. Responding, rather reproducing. D. Needing water. Three. A cat runs away when it hears a loud noise. The cat is A. Growing. B. Responding to a sound. C. Making a seed. D. Getting smaller. Four, a butterfly lay eggs that become a new caterpillars. This is how the butterfly A grows. B responds. C reproduces. D moves. Five, which of the following is something that all living things do? A, they can talk. B, they have four legs. C, they grow respond and reproduce d they can fly now let's check your answer kids this is these are the answer key 1b 2b 3b 4c and 5c good job kids thank you for listening see you next time